Here is a second theorem involving covariances. If x and y are independent random variables, then the covariance of x and y equals 0. Some people think that the converse of this is true. That is, if we have a covariance of 0, then we have to have independent variables. It turns out that's not the case. And here is an example. The details associated with the example are in the text. The random variables x and y are uni uniformly distributed over the support script A, which is all x and y values, such that 1 is less than x squared plus y squared is less than 4. So if you look down in this picture, here is 0 on both axes. So this is negative 1, negative 2, 1 and 2. Likewise along here, negative 2, negative 1, 1 and 2. The circle x squared plus y squared equals 4 is a circle of radius 2 at the origin, centered at the origin. So that's this outside circle. And then x squared plus y squared equals 1 is a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. So it looks like that. So in between those two is this donut shaped region. And so what we'd like to do is figure out what the joint probability density function is over that region. Well, first of all, let's figure out its area. The area of the outside circle is pi r squared. And so in this case, pi r squared will be pi times 2 squared or 4 pi. And if you subtract out the area of the inside circle, which is pi, times 1 squared, that's just 1 times, five, times pi, and 4 pi minus 1 pi is 3 pi. So 3 pi is the area of the shaded region, which is the support script A of these random variables x and y. Now since they're uniformly distributed over that region, and we have to make the um, volume underneath the shaded underneath the probability density function above the shaded region has to be 1. The joint probability density function has to be just the reciprocal of 3 pi, which is 1 over 3 pi over the donut-shaped support region. By symmetry, you can look at this distribution and know that the balance point for x has to be 0. Likewise, by symmetry, the expected value of y, if you were to collapse all of this down to the y-axis, is 0. Next, the expected value of x times y. This may not be so obvious, but again, by symmetry, this happens to be 0 which means by the shortcut formula, the covariance of x and y is the expected value of xy, which is 0, minus the expected value of x times the expected value of y, which is 0 times 0. So we get a covariance of 0. So here is a distribution with a covariance of 0, but x and y are not independent. How do you know they're not independent? Well, you look at this support and that is not a product space that is not a rectangular region so we know we have dependent random variables so this is a quick counter example that shows you that the covariance being zero does not imply that you have independent random variables